talking the stay and this one is written directed and stars scott ham and is a kind of psychological thriller uh, i guess crimes of drama i suppose not really a horror although i think the, the kind of the poster art somewhat gives it that horror feel but it's really not a horror film so what's the story it focuses on two couples as they uh go into a kind of remote um, sort of cottage in the woods, I suppose you would have said that's been leased out by, from this kind of like uh, this weird oddball kind of guy. And we've got t essentially two couples, and they're kind of going there for a little bit of a couple to treat. We learn that, uh, that there, may, there may be some marital problems within the you know within each of the couples, and it's kind of like um, again, it's, it's difficult to say too much about this plot because the actual plot doesn't kind of kick in until quite late in the film. Uh, but ultimately, there, there's kind of a, uh, a dangerous motive at hand here, and there may well be a dark and sinister kind of uh, reasons for them being there and what actually happens. That's kind of what I'll say. Uh, so let's talk about what works for me. Here's the, here, I think, is the big thing for me. I actually thought the acting of this movie um, from our four kind of, well, our two couples, you know, our, our four kind of main characters, was excellent. They were really, really convincing in, in their roles. So we have these two couples, and all, all four of them, I think, uh, have slightly different personality types. But the kind of the dialogue and the kind of the way these four sort of people acted with each other, um, as I say, one, one of them includes the director, I thought seemed so natural. The dialogue seemed so genuine and kind of like, you can imagine real people being like this. And I actually felt the, the characters seem somewhat multifaceted as well. You know, it's kind of easy to have these kind of like lower budget kind of horror and thriller and that kind of thing. I mean, they tend, you know, a lot of them tend to have very kind of cardboard cut out cliche characters. But I thought these characters are, are so well realized. I mean, even kind of like, you know, ones where you might think initially they might be quite kind of mean and nasty, I still felt they, you know, you can kind of sometimes see where they're going with it to a certain degree, and you still have a little bit of kind of sympathy. And, you know, they, they do have these sort of slight kind of cliches, like there's this one girl, for example, who's like just super into her Instagram and things like this, but it's not to the point where it's an unrealistic cliche. It's there, and we've seen that kind of type before. But to me, it was it was done to a point where it was kind of realistic. So I thought the acting of this movie, for the most part, was all very good. And um, you know, we, it's it's a relatively slow film, to be honest. Uh, but we get some good character moments. So the character work here was very good. And then when the kind of like the I guess the action starts to happen, it's quite late in the film. It's probably uh, you know not even the beginning of the third act, kind of like, you know, part of the way through the third act, really, the kind of like, the, the the jig is up about what's kind of going on. And I think that's quite well handled in regards to um, the sort of the uh, the thriller element that will then kind of come into play. I thought it was quite well done. Um, and we do get a couple of uh, clever moments, I think, quite clever moments. And again, those those quite clever writing for the characters and how they would react to certain things. Certainly some of the characters, at least, I think were, were quite well done. Um, but let's talk about what doesn't work. There's not a lot to this film, to be honest. Uh, you know, it was kind of one of these films where um, it's a very, very simple plot stretched out for a feature length movie. It's not necessarily a, a, a bad in, any, in, in regards to its plot. It's just like there's not a huge amount there. And then I, I felt maybe um, the kind of like the reveals and stuff came a little late. Um, because it, we spent a long time with these sort of characters and it was interesting. You know, I was invested in the fact I like the characters. But I was thinking, what's actually going to happen in this movie? Because it's like, at the moment, it seems like this, you know, it's just kind of like a couple's holiday. It doesn't really seem like there's not a lot going on in regards to, um, 
any type of sort of action or thriller elements or, or, or you know, things like this. So it, it was not a lot to it. And then I have to say there, there, there's, a, there's a fifth character who is played to be a, a cliché. And um, I don't know if I necessarily blame the actor, um, but I have to say that part came across as a bit cliché. And there's also something very cheap that they do with that. There's a, we see a scene uh, with that character where it's, where it's kind of like he's doing something. And, it, it, you know, I'm not going to say what it is. I don't want to spoil it. But you know this scene. He's doing something which is bad or looks bad at least. But what they do with that is very frustrating uh, and very cheap, I have to say. Um, and then I, when we get to our kind of our final act and kind of where the kind of the plot kind of kicks in, really, I don't know if that completely worked. It seems um, uh, it, it, I don't know if logically speaking, it, it's, it kind of made huge amounts of sense to, to a degree again i'm trying to be vague here so overall i gotta say i think the direction was fine here direction was, was wasn't bad i think the acting was good the story was pedestrian to be quite honest with you um but some of the kind of the pacing issues here and there was like um i don't know if some of the kind of the beats quite worked if completely honest with you and I've got to say, I think that it needed to have a little bit more to it to this film. Um, I'm going to give it a, I'll give it a six out of ten. I do feel the acting kind of give, gives it a slightly above average score for me. It's certainly, I don't think it's a bad film at all. It just needed a bit more to it, and I think it would have have, have benefited from having another writer um, because I feel that was probably the weakest part of the writing. So six out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.